ladies and gentlemen, a <laughs> picture surfaced this weekend that showed Tommy with somebody on book two. And we're going to discuss whether it's smoke and mirrors or something about to go down. Uh -oh. Let's Did take he a Professor Megrams. Man. <laughs> they put a song in my bed. They, did, they set the house on my chair. It was a good run, Proctor. This ain't fucking over. It is for you. Ladies and gentlemen, this picture was released on social media this weekend. And the question is, what are they trying to say? Are they trying to say Tommy's coming on the very next episode? I doubt it. <clears throat> are they saying that when Tommy does come, he's going to link up with Kane? I seriously doubt that too. I don't even know how you would weave that into the story other than somehow or another with the dissension that Kane has toward Tariq because it seems like his mother is siding with Tariq. Maybe he'll be wanting to get the inside scoop from Tommy. Larry, what do you think they mean by showing this picture of Tommy and Kane? I have I have a couple of I have a couple of things that I am uh that I'm uh, speculating on. And it better not involve Professor Carey. Not nail one of them. Not a one. I don't want to hear it. Well, you know we already know that he's going to smash, so that's not really a big secret. One, I want to know where I can get that leather hoodie he's rocking. I like that. So, mm -hmm. but I think what's going to happen is, is that Tariq's going to be able to just run amok because they're all up on in Tariq's grill. They're trying to get him. But then... Biden's going to get sworn in. Trump's going to be out. And immediately they're going to pull sacks off the case of Tariq and they're going to put him on the, on the case to go get Donald Trump and try and lock him up. So Tariq's going to have free reign to run amok and do whatever he wants to do. So there we go. I'm blending it on in. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> when, when, when you want a real analysis on power, don't even. Why do I keep asking, Larry? Because if you ain't talking about Ramona, put it on you. He, does, he has nothing to offer Ooh. in the conversation no more. He, uh, the only thing oh. he offers is lock and keys to just, you know, dig the, dig, dig the key in my head over Professor Meagle. That's all he has to well, offer. Well, we already know what happened to Ramona. Ramona's living in California right now in Tommy's beach house She because she's like, she's I think she's like five months pregnant right now. She's just waiting it out till she has her baby because, you know, they got together at the funeral and they commiserated and then, you know, that's how that happened. So... You know, I'm okay with that. I'm all right with that. <laughs> it looks like it looks like they're gonna bring him on in, though. Yeah, Tom, Tommy's definitely gonna show up this season. It's just a matter of what episode. I still contend episode nine. Some people are saying he's gonna come on episode six. I don't see that. But with Sax, with with them continuing so much of what happened on the first power. I don't see how they can't bring Tommy at least in for questioning. They're going to have to bring him in. If not, yeah. what would be the other reason that they would have for Tommy to even come back to New York other than maybe his mother? Yeah, I I mean I um I I agree. I think that I think that it's probably going to be like if they, if it's a 10 episode season, it's going to be like episode 9 they bring him in cuz they'll bring him in one one episode uh, or two episodes before it's over. One, they can just bring him in where everybody can be like, whoa, they can have him in the story. And then the last episode, episode 10, it'll be a finale for, for Tariq and them, but it's also going to be a lead in to Tommy's show. Mm -hmm. And so I can see them bringing him in for episode nine and then 10. And then we'll probably, I don't know, maybe a couple weeks we'll get a break before they roll right. I don't even think they should do that. They should probably go like, the next week and roll right into his show. So. <laughs> well, we know that's not going to happen. and But I agree with you. They should do something like that. But Raising Canaan, I think, is going to be the next one that they drop. And I really wish that they would decide to pick production back up with um, Governor Tate's story. But I, I think, mm. Larry, they have completely scrapped that one. Um, and I'm a, I'm a little upset because I thought that one had the greatest potential. You know, but it is what it is. I'll tell you, man. I, I, this this is kind of how I feel about it. I I mean, I kind of wanted to see that because I thought it could be a good story. I felt like that would have been a better story if they had left 
you know, James alive. Because then I think they would have had that rivalry going back and forth with those two, which I think would have been good. But I'll be honest with you, just with everything that's happening in the country, I'm okay with not having a political show. I'm okay with not having a show without a political theme to it. I'm okay with just some good old-fashioned shoot 'em up cops and robbers, good guys, bad guys stuff, and and going and having just a boring ass president, and and literally where you turn on TV and they talk about politics for 15 minutes during the hour, and then you move on to something else. I'm ready for that. Okay. I don't need I don't need any extra politics in my life. Just let's get this. Let's move past it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to fit. We're about to end on politics. Go donate. To this brother's campaign in Georgia, that's Raphael Warnock. Go donate. That's his website. And go donate to John Ossoff. His website is electjohn.com. 